The solar powered internet cafe begins with the solar charging system. In essence, the system is comprised of a solar panel, a battery bank, and wiring and necessary peripherals. Each aspect of the system must keep in mind the context of its use. For the solar panel, we selected a unisolar PVL124. This is a $300 high voltage panel that is sufficient for the power needs of our cafe and can be rolled up for shipping. Several other companies manufacture flexible panels, and there are a number of things you want to keep in mind when selecting and setting up a solar system with a flexible panel. See our website for more details. We faced some challenges in transporting this panel for the construction of our prototype cafe in Africa. When rolled up, the panel cannot have an interior diameter greater than 20 inches, or damage to the cells may result. We eventually decided to place the panel in a hard plastic container and check it as baggage. After acquiring the panel, the real work begins. Matching the panel to wiring of a proper gauge, finding the correct charge controller, and choosing batteries for a bank can be extremely complicated and confusing. Since solar systems are still an evolving technology, information can at times be scarce. After consulting with electricians, battery experts, and even companies that manufacture and sell solar technology, we eventually found ourselves learning largely through trial and error. The charge controller moderates the voltage, prevents overcharging of the batteries, and prevents discharging. It also allows you to connect the system directly to an inverter, so you can have AC power for your laptops and other devices. After the sun goes down, your equipment keeps on running from the battery bank via the charge controller. Our first charge controller we accidentally fried. The second we purchased was found to be poor quality, and eventually we settled on a Morningstar MPPT-15. This is a $200 charge controller. If you're going to try to go cheaper, please see our website for some helpful information. Our system uses a PowerBright 24 volt inverter, which cost $180. Although the inverter alarms when connected directly to the panel, it worked great in testing when connected to the charge controller. Next we'll tell you about the computers used in the solar powered internet cafe. To watch that video and learn more about the project, visit chadnow.org.